Hey, uh, so a few weeks ago, I saw a video by Suman. Uh, I'm not collaborating with him. I don't know him, but um, I think his channel is worth checking out. Um, I'm going to link in the description, particularly the video I'm talking about. Uh, and what he did was showed that using salt in a glue up to prevent uh, slippage of boards actually compromised the joint to a certain degree. Uh, the salt kind of dried out or caused the glue to set up a little prematurely and it weakened the joint. Uh, modern PVA glue is pretty strong, but uh, I still want to keep uh, the joint as strong as possible. So I haven't ever used it because I was concerned about that. And he demonstrated that that indeed did weaken the joint. So what I propose is actually this, uh, is silicon carbide. Uh, this is rock tumbling grit, uh, one of my other hobbies. And this is 6090. And um, this won't break the glue down or do anything to it. It'll just cause friction in the joint when you glue it up. Uh, I would use it sparingly uh, because this does grind rocks and steel. So if you were going to mill uh, boards after you glued it up, uh, you wouldn't want much of that in there because potentially it could cause some damage to your saw blades. Um, if you're not going to do a lot of milling, I would say this is the ticket to make that glue up a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and glue one up and kind of demonstrate that. It's very objective. I don't have any scientific way to show you the friction. Uh, but just watching me do it and seeing what I'm going to glue up here, multiple boards glued together. And normally I would have a lot of uh, difficulty getting this lined up properly. It would want to slip and slide like grease in there. But with this silicon carbide on there, it makes it a lot easier. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this glued up. Um, if you're wondering what this is, it's the base of a scoreboard. Uh, it's the video I did in the past. And if you're interested, I will put a link in the description if you want to check that out. Anyhow, I'll get some glue on this. And I'm going to put a fairly liberal amount on here. I think we kind of overdo it a little bit on the glue, thinking uh, more is better and the joint will be stronger. Um, it can't hurt, I suppose. Uh, too little is probably worse, uh, but it, what it does, it creates a, a more slippery surface when we're trying to glue it up, when we kind of overdo it. Um, so I'm going to do that here just to help demonstrate the effect of adding grit in the glue up to counteract that. And if anybody ever tells me that glue is bad for your health, I'm in trouble because I usually end up with it all over my hands before I'm done. Uh, so while I was doing this, I think I forgot what I was making a video about, and I did not add the grit, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take these apart and add it. And hopefully you can see that I'm adding just a very light amount. It's, it's so little you almost can't even see it on the camera. It doesn't take much, just a little abrasive in there makes a big difference. And I know this shaker looks like it has multiple holes, almost like a salt shaker, uh, but I drilled too many. I should have drilled just one and then worked my way up, but really all I needed was one hole. Uh, that was enough to put the right amount of grit out without dumping a whole ton on it. So I actually have the inside of it taped, even though it looks like it has a lot of holes in it, and I punched one hole out in the center, and that's it. So normally at this point, when I'm trying to get that first clamp on, the pieces have already really started to slip slide around and they're not staying aligned very well. Once you normally get one or two on there, of course it usually stays in place pretty good. But it's probably a little hard to tell in this video. Um, but right here, when I put that first clamp on, stuff stayed right where I wanted it to. Um, and that's kind of the point I'm trying to demonstrate here and I hope it's evident in this little clip that adding some grit into the glue up does aid in getting the pieces to cooperate a lot more. All right so that was probably a poor way to go about demonstrating uh, what I'm trying to get across. Um, I didn't have a really scientific way to do it. I don't have scales or any way to show the resistance um, but I'm trying to plant the idea that using an abrasive in a glue up makes sense if you were trying to make that glue up go a little easier. Uh, it doesn't always apply, uh, particularly on this project where the inside is milled at a three degree angle and I need those surfaces to stay flush. Uh, I've got multiple boards uh, in the past. This is one of the slip slide around and made the glue up uh, difficult and frustrating. Uh, with just a little bit and a little bit goes a long ways, um, it makes that go a heck of a lot easier. And I hope I was able to show that. Um, again, it's very objective, but uh, using an abrasive uh, to 
prevent pieces from sliding isn't a new thing. We use sandpaper on all kinds of jigs and miter gauges and push sticks. Uh, so using an abrasive in the glue up, uh, that's something different. I haven't really seen that. Uh, maybe somebody has, but I've not seen it. So I think it's a solid idea. It's inexpensive and it's easy. Um, so anyhow, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found the content useful and uh, give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.